Hey, this is James Diamond with Glock CNC, and I wanted to make a video on bearing selection since it can be a, a little bit complex and not everybody either knows they should be asking about it when choosing a bearing for their headstock or they know that it's important but don't necessarily know which one to pick. So if we're looking at the screen here, we see that this is our, our BT-30 headstock. And I picked this one because it has the widest range of bearing types and accuracies available. And all of our other headstocks have kind of a similar amount of options, but this one has the most. It kind of breaks down into two things here, okay? We have accuracy level on one side, and then on the other side of things, we have the actual physical build and materials. When it comes to the accuracy, we have the ABEC 5, is which is in its standard for all of our headstocks. And for a lot of guys, that's probably all they'll ever need. The ABEC 5 and the ABEC 5 sealed deep groove bearings are great bearings. Now, depending on what your needs are currently and what you think your needs could possibly be in the future, we'll kind of determine, okay, do, do I really want to upgrade to you know the next step up as far as bearing accuracy and type? And this is what I'll tell you when you're thinking about this. Now, my personal design, or not design, but personal philosophy when I'm investing in a machine tool or just tools is I try to get the best in class, you know, that I can with my budget. You know, obviously, budget is budget. You can't always, you know, you can't always work outside of that. But I try to get the best I can with what I have. And one of the choices when it comes to a headstock that you really probably want to make your investment in is the bearings. And I tend to think of, okay, what might I possibly need in the future? So I will tell you before I get too far into this, just what the most popular are. It's going to be the ABEX 7 angular contact bearings and the ABEX 7 deep groove bearings. Those are the most popular, okay? And as far as accuracy, after we go from ABEX 5 to ABEX uh, 7, it goes into ABEX 9. ABEX 7 and ABEX 9 are what you're typically going to find in commercial, large commercial machine tools. ABEX 9 is what you're going to find in those really high-end machine tools and grinders. And this is something I will throw in about the ABEC 9 since we're on accuracy it themselves, itself. That if you're going to get the ABEC 9, then you would do well to invest also in doing a secondary grind. Let me see if I can bring up an image here. Uh, okay, so this is not a real great image, but you'll understand what I'm talking about. So there's a inside here is a taper where the tooling fits, right? So a secondary grind means that the spindle itself is mounted inside the headstock, inside the bearings where it's going to set. And then uh, they come in with a grinder and they resurface just ever so slightly. They resurface the taper in here to as closely as possible match the bearings accuracy. Okay, and if you're going to invest in the ABEC 9, highly recommend that you further invest in that secondary grind operation. There are going to be a handful of people, and we've sold to labs all over the world, R&D guys, and even guys that just, you know, they're hobby guys, but they're really serious about their hobbies. Uh, you know, probably the most common are going to be watchmakers, where they just want as accurate as they can possibly get. They may even pay at least a little beyond uh, what the secondary, our standard secondary grind is, and they'll have us send it to a machine shop that has... Uh, or a grinding shop, I should say, that has very specific machines that they can get this, you know, into the, the millionths and, you know, down to maybe as little as like 20 millionths. So if you're going to get an ABEC 9, probably ought to, you know, pony up for the secondary grind. Okay, so those are the different accuracies. Now let's talk about accuracy and bearing type. So one thing that can be kind of confusing is that you might, some people might think that the angular contact bearings are more accurate than the deep groove. But here's the thing. If it's an ABEC 5, the ABEC 5 is going to be just as accurate as a, a deep groove or an angular contact bearing. The same with ABEC 7 and the same with ABEC 9. Accuracy wise, it's going to all be the same. 5 is a 5, 7 is 7, 9 is a 9. Okay. Now, how it handles that under load can be different, and that can alter the accuracy, okay? 
once under load, and I want to say that you're abusing something, right? Because you never want to abuse your tools. But if it's under heavy load, I can tell you right now that oftentimes the Angular contacts will retain the level of accuracy that they have better than the deep groove, okay? But in general, the accuracy is the same. Five is a five, seven is seven, whether it's an Angular or a deep groove. Now, Angular contact bearings, deep groove, con deep groove bearings, and then we'll also talk about materials. This is a typical deep groove. This is what probably the vast majority of the bearings are in the world like this and most people think of, okay? They are a great bearing, a great general use bearing. Now, an angular contact bearing, let me get a little better picture here, looks like this. It's a, it's a different formation and it only works in one direction and they have to be paired up in a certain way to make them work. The advantages are number one, and this can be a huge one, is how they handle load really makes a difference thermally. And when you're using an aluminum headstock, it can make a difference because it can alter, you can get a certain amount of thermal creep, okay? The angular contact bearings make a lot less heat, you know, friction-wise, than the deep grooves do, okay? So that can make a difference. It's because of that, you can run the angular contact bearings at much higher speeds than you can the deep groove bearings. This makes a big difference when it comes to a duplex set. In fact, let's go back to this picture. When it comes to a, like a dual stack of bearings, like you see on the image, that's more, even though this is, this is incredibly rigid and it's a great way to go, it does introduce more heat. You've got twice the bearing up there, right? So getting angular contact bearings in there can make a significant difference in the amount of heat that it actually generates on specifically the, the BT30, the 5C, and when we eventually introduce the, the Cat 40. Okay, the other advantages when it comes to the angular contact bearings are they will have a, a nice long life to them. We can't X out of this here. They have a nice long life to them. They will last longer. They, they can be incredibly rigid when they're set up in a duplex way in there and, you know, higher speeds. Now, when it comes to the materials used in there, the ceramic balls, hands down, are the best. I have run lots and lots of headstocks, and I can tell you, I know it's a big investment, but when it comes to when I purchase things, uh, you know, that's going to be running in a spindle, I try to get ceramic if I can. If I can fit it in the budget and it makes sense, I go with the ceramic because they just handle heat so, so well and they have a great life, especially if you're ever going to cut anything that might, I know a lot of guys won't, but if you're ever going to cut anything, um, let's say like a, a carbon fiber or something else that turns kind of the like an abrasive dust, it's almost impossible to keep the intrusion out of the bearing, no matter how well you've got it sealed up, whether you've got it with you know a labyrinth seal on there or whatever you got. Intrusion over time will happen. They handle it the best, they have the longest life. But for me, the biggest thing is how well they handle heat and they really keep things accurate, okay? I understand, you know, not everybody's budget will fit that, but they are, they are the best, they are the best. So there you have it. Hopefully that makes sense. In a nutshell, ABEX 7, the angular contact bearings are most popular. The deep groove ABEX 7 next to that. If you're really going to maximize the performance of your headstock, the ceramic versions, those are definitely um, the top tier where they get the best performance. So hopefully that didn't confuse you and that made sense when it comes to your selection.